Let's talk about how to find the distance on a coordinate plane. There's two methods that you can use. The first one is counting the points on a graph. So let's look at two examples of counting points on the graph. So in this example, you have 4 comma 1 and 4 comma 4. I can start at any of those points and I can count to my second point. So let's say I'm starting here, 1, 2, 3. The distance here is 3. Let's try this graph. So you have negative 3 comma negative 3 and 1 comma 3. Pause the video before we go on and try to find the distance on your own. You got it? Let's take a look. 1, 2, 3, 4. The distance here is 4. Sometimes you might not have the points on the graph and then you're still expected to find the distance. In this case, you might have an example like this, 2 comma 9, 2 comma 1. The first thing you want to do is cross out the same axes. So in this question, 2 and 2 are both in your x axis, so I'm going to cross those out. Now we're going to try to figure out what quadrant are each of my points in. So I'm going to just write the sign of my numbers. This is positive, positive positive, positive. So since they're both positive, positive, I know that they're both in quadrant 1. Since they're in the same quadrant, I'm going to subtract. We're going to remember that by subtract, same. Same, subtract. Take the absolute value of your different axes. So I have 9, absolute value of 9, and absolute value of 1, and I'm subtracting those. That gives me a distance of 8. Let's try this one. So I'm looking at these two points. The first thing I want to do is cross out my same axes, and that's going to be my y-axis here. I'm crossing out my fourth. Now I'm taking a look. What are my quadrants here? So I'm writing down the signs of my numbers, negative, positive, positive, positive. So right away I'm like, okay, these are not in the same quadrant. They are different. So I'm going to add, different, add. Still taking the absolute value of my x-axis, absolute value of negative 8, absolute value of 2, and this time I'm adding those up to find the distance. So my distance here is 10. As a quick recap, to find the distance on a coordinate plane, if you're given two points, start by crossing out the axes that's the same, Take the absolute value of your remaining axes, and remember, if they are in the same quadrant, you're going to subtract. If they're in the different quadrants, you're going to add. Let's see if you got it. We're going to do some practice with flash math. The way this works, you'll see a slide with two points up here. You'll have five seconds to decide the distance of the point, and at the end of the five seconds, the answer will appear on the screen. If five seconds is not enough, pause the video. That way you're able to come up with the answer before you check your work. Let's get started.
Okay, that's it. How did you do? Let me know in the comments below, and if you have any questions, leave them below as well. Bye!